Hi everyone, welcome back to Watch It Played. My name is Rodney Smith. It's time for us to start preparing for our playthrough of Spectre Ops. There's going to be two hunters, and I'm going to choose one after letting you guys vote on the first hunter. And to vote, you're going to go over to our Facebook page, and I'll have the options there. But first, I thought I should give you a quick overview of the four different hunters and their special abilities. So let's go to the table. First up, we have the Prophet, whose mind reading abilities add plus two to its attacks. Now this is a pretty big deal, because finding the agent is one thing, but wounding it is another. Precognition is an ongoing passive ability that requires the agent player to announce during a turn when they intend to complete an objective on the following turn, but they don't have to declare which objective it will be. And finally, instead of moving, this hunter can activate its postcognition, and then the agent has to announce where it was located two turns back. Next we have the puppet, who can move the vehicle instead of moving itself, even if the vehicle is unoccupied. So this control relay ability is nice as an option to bring the car close to a hunter who needs a pickup, without another hunter having to spend turns getting into the vehicle or having to drive it around to pick that hunter up. The puppet can also use the vehicle's motion detector instead of moving by using its remote sensor ability. The beast has enhanced sensors, so after this hunter moves, it forces the agent to declare if they are close, that means within four spaces of the beast. Now this ability is always active, but it only applies if the beast moved three or fewer spaces. With its brutal strength, not only does it cause damage when it lands on an agent's space, but the beast also then rolls a die, and on a five or six, it scores another wound. Finally, it can move five spaces on its turn with quadrupedal move, but then can only attack if it lands directly on the agent's space. And here we have your fourth option, the gun, who rolls two dice, adding the values together when attacking due to its sharpshooter skill. With quick draw, if the gun spots the agent during the agent's turn, the gun rolls one die, and if the result is greater or equal to the distance from the gun to the last scene marker, the agent is wounded. After moving with the gun, if the agent is not visible, then this hunter player can activate the sniper shot. The gun chooses a direction, north, south, east, or west, and then may only see in that direction. However, if the agent is spotted along that line, they automatically lose a hit point. So there are the four options for the hunters. If you have any questions at all about how these abilities work, just put them in the comments below and I'll gladly answer them as soon as I get a chance. And if you'd like to vote on which hunter the viewers will represent, you can go to our Facebook page. I'll put a link to that in the description of this video. You should find a poll there. I don't really have an established end date on the poll, just vote as quickly as you can, because as soon as I'm ready to begin shooting the next episode, I'll then go to the poll and see which hunter had the most votes. In the next episode, we will be continuing our playthrough of Spectre Ops. I hope you'll join us, but until then, thanks for watching.